$16.4 billion deal with Varian. I'm drawn to the idea that you've done this all for cash. How risky is it to do a deal at this moment in time all in cash, $16.4 billion? Why did you go for a cash deal? Well, Manus, first of all, thanks for having us, having me. Um, the, well, I mean, it is a combination of a, of a cash and um, equity raise, which will follow uh, in due course. Um, and um, this equity raise um, will um, create also additional free flow, which um, eventually will lift us in the decks. Um, we are very certain about this transaction. It's the right time. Um, and we are also super confident about financing. Bernd, great to speak to you this morning. Um, as we speak, we've seen over the weekend tensions increasing between the U.S. and China. Um, China is an important market for Varian. How are you planning on navig navigating those tensions? Yeah, Nira, thanks for the question. I mean, Healthcare is, uh, may take is global, um, and um, Varian is um, a global company. I mean, with footprint in, in China, as, as also Siemens Health in years has footprint in China, uh, with a uh, very uh, strong position in China, uh, with a unique uh, uh, strength also, of more than 50% market share. It is, they are catering an enormously important um, part for healthcare. Uh, in China, so I'm I'm very very certain that when it comes to an essential topic like people's health, yeah, this will not be an issue uh, politicians will touch. Bernd, when we look at your relationship with Varian, it it has extended um, o over the past number of years, mainly in the radio radiotherapy diagnostics. So there's the complementary side of the business, the MRI and CT scans. Where will the biggest synergies come from? What's going to drive this deal forward? So we have chosen the tagline "One Step, Two Leaps" for this transaction. It is a leap for Varian to become even broader in addressing cancer. So by putting together um, the, all the diagnostic um, aspects and the aftercare aspects we bring to the table, and then by building a digital roof, if you wish, of combining um, all these into new insights, new knowledge, using our AI capabilities. Yeah? So a lot of the synergies are in co-innovating topics which so which before that nobody else would have been able to do under one roof. The second leap is the leap for Siemens Healthy Nears because with this we become an even broader customer, a broader partner for our customers. Yeah, who we, we can basically address all major disease patterns and our so-called value partnerships in which we address customers holistically instead of just doing transactional deals for a certain product. Um, Will, will benefit a lot from the, from this uh, from this transaction. Mm. Yeah. Um, one benefit for you, Bernd, you've, you've said to us just now that um, the deal will lift the company into the DAX. I'm wondering whether a dual listing will make sense for you from here, given that Varian is a U.S. business and your diagnostics division is mostly there. Um, we feel very comfortable with, uh, with, uh, with the listing we, uh, we, we have in, in, in Frankfurt. And I think there is, uh, so far, we have not heard any, uh, let's say, uh, dis quote unquote complaints of investors um, or any disadvantages from this. So I think it is in our investor community well understood that we are listed in, the, in, in Frankfurt and, and, and a U.S. listing is not uh, planned. Tell me, uh, Bern, look, looking at the numbers, you like for like sales down almost 7%. So that, that, that's worse than the estimates. The net income falls by 23%. When you were with Nara and I before, you said you had pent up demand. Um, I'm just wondering, has that pent up demand not shown through in the last quarter? Have hospitals delayed their installations? What, what has been the drag on, on this like for like sales? I mean, first of all, I mean, when uh, um, in Q3 we, 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 we said um, before uh, the quarter in our Q2, yeah, so three months ago, when we spoke about 
um, the quarter we now reported on that this will be trough. Yeah, that this will be the uh, the quarter in which we will be hit the hardest. Um, we will. We see. We are confident. Yeah, that uh, we have the worst behind us. Yeah, uh, we will see a stronger Q4, which also um, gave us the confidence to reinstate, um, reinstall a guidance yeah, for the full year. Um, so, um, from that point of view, as I said, the worst is behind us. Yeah, and the, when it comes to the major trends in healthcare and the major trends driving our business. Um, this is completely intact, yeah? and in hindsight, yeah, um, this will be a temporary dip in our growth rate. Yeah? I mean, as serious as it is, yeah, but we are sitting and addressing the right long-term trends in healthcare. Okay, so you say the worst um, is behind you, Bernd. Um, last time you were on, we also talked about your coronavirus tests. I'm wondering um, if you can give us an update on that. Um, where are they needed the most? Where are you seeing the most demand for these tests right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for the question. I mean, um, on the corona uh, test side, I'm super proud of what the team has done in terms of innovation. We have a molecular test. We have... Um, we have now two serology tests. We have an anti well, antibody test, yeah, which is um, one is, um, yeah, and, and, and we even now uh, last week um, had got, got the FDA clearance for the first semi-quantitative um, antibody test. What currently is is still a debate, and we can um, is in let's say in, in the in, in the medical community as well as in society. What is the, the clinical value? Of antibody testing, yeah. What is the message you you you, you take from it? Um, and from that point of view, we see a relatively slow uptick of this in our numbers, yeah. Uh, which is um, not a message about us as a company, but about this category of tests um, and the uncertainty um, around it, because the value is not as clear as as has not been, let's say, has not as quickly established as yep. uh, itself as we thought in the beginning. Yeah? It will uh, potentially be okay. of major importance uh, once um, we are closer to getting, getting to a vaccination. 